everyone let's begin one of the important software that is jamovi and jamovi is a free of cost it is available and there are two ways how you can use jamovi one is the desktop another one is on the cloud so jamovi cloud use jamovi in the cloud directly from your browser you can do it and download and install jamovi onto your uh, computer that's also possible so it depends upon you how you are going to use jamovi so basically what is zamovi that is the stats made simple actually zamovi is a new 3d generation statistical spreadsheet designed from a ground up to be easy to use zamovi is a compelling alternative to costly statistical products such as spss and cess and that these are the paid one so that is the replacement of spss and cess and one of the important feature of zamovi is R integration. So Zamovi is built on top of the R statistical language, giving you access to the best the statistical community has to offer. And would you like the R code for your analysis? And Zamovi can provide that too. Also, that is the beauty of this Zamovi software. And the third important feature of this Zamovi, free and open. Zamovi will. always be free and open that's one of the our core values because the movie is made by the scientific community for the scientific community right actually by the scientific community and for the scientific community and here is how we have to download the movie simply you will write in the search engine the movie and moment you will write the movie this will the first a uh, web link that is available and you are going to click here a moment you will click here this one is the interface will open right and because i want to download the movie desktop so i will press here but it will take time when you are going to press here this one it will take time after that you are going to install it right because i am already having in my system this zamovi desktop so i am not going to install this once again but i have to press this this one is the zamovi desktop download for windows but there are the other options also operating system is windows you have to click here and this one is the mac operating system you are going to click here and linux right and chrome operating system so i have windows so i will click here windows right a moment i will click this one is the windows operating system now you can see in my download section that is one zamovi 2.6.2.5 oh that is already downloading and it will take 32 or 35 seconds because i have already downloaded in my system so this will this will i will not run already was moment you are going to install it and you have to run this and this interface would be like this right i just want to show you how it would be like that this is the zamovi interface and uh, here is now first let me introduce you all the those are the tabs are available in zamovi first is new let's say you are going to create a new file or any file that is existing in your system you want to open it then you can open here special import you can import here is files also right wherever it is put it your file you can import it you can browse it right and further is we will we will say uh this one is the save save as and export whatever is the output we are producing you can save it now further there is the here is the exploration and descriptive whatever is the your data file you can see descriptive analysis and descriptive analysis now you can see all the descriptives what is the number of the sample missing values how many missing values in your sample mean value median standard deviation minimum and maximum value in your data set and these are the further it is here is scatter plot and pareto chart you can prepare with the help of your data further is t test here is all three kinds of t test you are going to apply independent sample t test paired sample t test and one sample t test then we come to the anova and one way anova anova repeated measures and cova mancova etc one way anova and everything that you are going to apply 
regression, correlation matrix, partial correlation, linear regression, right binomial and outcomes, multinomial, ordinal outcomes, you can apply here. Frequencies also, well-defined frequencies, you are going to check frequency like we had already used chi-square test, so independent sample, chi-square test of association, paired sample, right, McNamara test also. I will share the link, those I had already uploaded in on my YouTube channel, link I will share what is the McNamara test, what is the chi-square test, how we have to run already previously with the help of the SPSS, so you can refer that videos. So they would be, you can understand these terms here easily in this the movie then the factor reliability analysis principal component analysis pca exploratory factor analysis confirmatory factor analysis you can run here so these are the some uh, tabs those you are going to use and when we will talk about variables here is the this is the you can transform compute suppose you want to take a log value so you will compute in the transform compute, add it, right? And there is the, it's like a similar to SPSS, you can perform all the, all the, all the uh, analysis here. Further, it is data, data you can see what is the, in the variable A, this is the, this is the sign of the uh, variables, right? This is the nominal data you can see. And I would like to show you one important thing. <coughs> there is so resources, when you have to go to user guide, Right, you have to click here user guide and user guide that would be helpful to you how we have to understand this Zamobi software. Suppose we are talking about copy and paste, right? So copy and paste, this is the beauty of this Zamobi. This is output it is producing in an APA format. APA format means there is the no lines, only upper line and directly you can copy, right click and paste right to your Word document, wherever you want to uh, produce this, you want to report this. And here is the, it could be your thesis, it could be your research article, you have to produce this, right? After that, there is the, to copy results, right click on the object of interest, etc. So this would be, you are going to do this. Then further is, next we come to the syntax mode. Suppose we want to see syntax. What syntax we had used? So how we have to see this syntax? We will go back in the movie software. And simply what we have to do, right? There are three, three dots. You have to go there. And simply here it is, you can say, this is the plot theme syntax mode. A moment you will click syntax mode. Now you can see syntax. Now you can see. Descriptive data is equal to equal. The syntax, it is behind this, you can see. Pareto charts and, and each and everything you can see here. What is the meaning of this? You can zoom this, right? And you can zoom out. You can zoom out, you can zoom this, right? Then the number format. Number formats means now you can see, let's say, whatever is the values you had put it. So decimal places up to two decimal points, up to three decimal points, up to four. It depends upon you what you want to create. Further, we will talk about this one is the p-value also, right? Up to what decimal points you want to see. Let's say we will talk about references. Uh, references either hidden. A moment I would hidden, there is no references, right? Uh, when I have to, that would be visible if I would say, so references will be visible. Now you can see references are visible. Now you can see references are visible. So that is a very user-friendly software. And I'm sure we will run number of the uh, analysis, number of the databases we are going to use. I hope this video would be helpful to you. So stay connected and keep watching.